Hello guys and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to be tracing our hand-drawn pattern elements in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just going to start by creating a new document using my preset here and uh, first things first, we're going to import our hand-drawn pattern element. So go to file and place and then come here in hand-drawn pattern element one. Okay, just place and now we have our pattern elements here okay so we're going to just select this guy and duplicate to the right hand side okay, so we have two copies now what i want to show you is two different ways of drawing these guys okay of treating these guys i'm going to trace this guy here using what we call image trace okay so we're going to just vectorize this drawing and kind of just trace the whole thing and it's the quickest way okay and this other one we're going to use our paint brush tool to draw out our patterns so i'm going to create a new layer now and for this guy i'm going to select this guy and just reduce the color or rather the opacity like this okay so i see behind it a bit i'm just going to reduce it to maybe 40 or 33 okay maybe 36 just to see what's happening here while also giving me the room to see what i'm going to be drawing okay so i'm just going to talk this guy away and um now we're going to start by using our paintbrush tool to draw out our patterns right so i'm going to uh, lock my layer here and now draw on this new layer so come and select my paintbrush tool double click to see the options and i like what i have maybe i'm just going to uh, keep selected and edit parts selected so that while i draw i can maybe continue drawing like this i don't know maybe i should just un undo or uncheck the feature right maybe i should just uncheck this too so as to draw normally so i'm going to select my paints brush tool and then just draw and if i'm not okay with my drawing i'll just undo the drawing and redraw so i'm okay with this guy and then for this one i'm just going to draw we undo and try to make it more perfect okay undo now i'm going to take my time to make sure i get something uh, cool or really nice perfect so for the middle guy i'm just going to draw like this for this guy i'm going to draw like this sorry undo draw like this draw like this okay like this undo go like this like this and like this undo I don't want it extending out yeah I like what we have so far and for this one I'm just going to draw and keep drawing and do Undo. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with this guy. And then draw the next one. Undo. I'm not okay with that one. Okay, I don't like this one either. We're going to start from the side here. Okay, and hopefully we we'll get something better. Um, it's a bit small so i'm just going to manually increase the size ok 
okay i'm gonna increase the size and yeah i like what we have so far select my paintbrush tool go out my guys okay next for this guy to draw out two okay then Okay, and finally we have this one here here i'm not okay with you i'm just going to undo and redraw it perfect <laughs> now we have these little circles inside them i'm just going to draw them quickly undo Do. perfect okay um i'm just going to work on this guy now so maybe i'll reduce the stroke size a bit okay well maybe i'll just keep it at one Okay, so sorry, I'm just going to start with this part first. Perfect, and then draw this part. Okay, and then draw these parts. And finally, these parts. Good. Then we have this part here. And this part. And finally, we have this part. perfect um and we're done with most of our work we only have two left this guy and this guy so for this one I'm starting with the middle here sorry i'm two starting with the middle here okay i'm just going to undo it it's too big okay and then we have this guy here Do um, so I'm going to just go with this one. Okay, then we have these guys. This one. And this guy. And this guy here. Finally, we now have these flowers, right? So, something like this, and like this. And do, uh, just redo it like this, and like this. And draw it out like this. This one, we have this and this. So, we, I'm just going to undo. I'm just going to redraw it like this. And like this. This one, I'm going to draw it like this, and like this. Do. Yeah, I think I'll just undo it again and try it one more time. 
Okay, uh, I think I'll undo it again and try it one more time. Okay, I think I'll just go with this one. Let me just uh, uncheck like this. And yeah, I'll go with what I have here. And maybe I'll just, uh, instead of just going with it, I'm just going to expand it a bit like this. You dry, maybe drop this guy like this. Yeah, and then, yeah, I like what I have here, even though I would like to maybe extend this anchor point out like this. Yeah, and I like what we have so far. And then we have two more elements. We are not going to draw this guy because it's basically a repetition of this one. Okay, so we have these two elements. Um, take your paintbrush tool and draw this part like this and then let's just draw the branches before going to the leaves. Okay, so I'm starting with this leaf. Um, this and this like this this okay this and like this uh, for this guy i think i will just uh, select the guy and we rotate it a bit and reduce the size this okay for this other guy too, i'm just going to reduce the size and this, um, yeah i think reduce the size too Maybe position like this. <coughs> For these other ones, I'm going to draw them out quickly. Perfect. I'm just going to see what we've been able to achieve. Perfect. And then um, finally, we have this one. So, set my paintbrush to go the middle we just draw it better okay we even have here the like this okay here and then for the body I'm just going to have it like this like this and like this I won't really follow what I have in my drawing perfectly. Okay, so I'll just manage what I have. I'll just manage what I have here and do the same for the right hand side. And unfortunately for me, I have to restart this one. Maybe I can just, yeah, I have to restart, I have to restart, so I can just uh, restart like this. Uh, I'm finding it out to complete, so, um, yeah. What I will do is I'll just select my direct selection tool and just complete it manually. Okay, that's one advantage of using the paintbrush tool. You can uh, use your direct selection tool to complete stuff, right? Because you actually have them as anchor points and handles, like how we have them here. So when I close this layer, when I um, hide this layer we see that we've been able to trace our drawing like this okay and it looks good so we're just going to do the next one now for this other guy i'm going to use a different method okay i'm going to use the image trace method so whenever you import an image into adobe illustrator you see this image trace button here now this button helps you trace out your images it helps you 
vectorize your images and we learned about vectorization of images in the beginner course okay it's a quite basic function in Adobe Illustrator so you can vectorize your images by coming to objects and then image trees and then make okay now when you click on make it's going to okay it's warning me that my image is kind of be large okay, it's a large image and this will take uh, more RAM okay so I'm just going to click OK and you can see that it's now processing my image and immediately it's done we have our hand-drawn image vectorized now let's just undo our vectorization and come to Windows and we can access the image trees panel okay um sorry you can see the image trees panel here anyways just select your guy here and let's hit image trees and okay now when we come to our properties we can click here and we will then see the image trees panel okay, so this is the image trees panel and we can do changes we can make changes to our work okay or to our vectorized art using this panel we can just drag it to the left like this it's going to load before moving finally okay and with this panel now we can basically see that we have the default preset set and we have the tracing results of which these are the tracing results right and then the mode is black and white okay but we have other modes as well we have the color mode we have the grayscale mode and we have other presets here which we can try out but for this lecture we are not trying out other presets we can check them for yourself what we are doing in this lecture is we are trying to freeze them out as black and white okay and when we click on advanced we can see that we have many other options which we can edit now we have paths we now have low and high when we click on high we see that it makes changes to our parts and then we have corners then the more we click or the more we adjust we will see changes being made to our corners and even this other one which says noise right this will kind of increase the noise if you look closely you will see the changes that have been made okay but um, I don't want to take note of these changes or give them priority in this video because I just want to achieve something decent and go on with the video. So let me see. Um, basically, I think we'll just leave these settings like this, but you can explore them on your own later on. Okay, and if you click on ignore white, it's going to just remove all the white spaces. Okay, it's going to remove all the white spaces and it's going to leave this as objects which we can basically add colors to but we don't want to ignore all the white spaces because i want to use the white spaces as my colors okay so i want to add colors to these white spaces and uh, what i'll then do is just um, close this image trace panel and click on expand so it's going to expand our shape and we now have them as real shapes now we now have these guys as a group now when we ungroup we now have them as separate shapes and we can take this guy out okay we can take this guy out and these are all separate vector shapes okay so as you can see within a few clicks we've been able to change our our drawings into vectors unlike this other place where we had to draw everything with our hands okay so for this one we just clicked on a few things and we are now able to change our drawings to vectors okay so i'm just going to select everything here i'm going to just ctrl x sorry uh, ctrl x to cut and then come on this layer ctrl f so as to paste in place and then what i'll then do is just delete this guy here and delete the layer as well okay so now we only have one layer and we have these drawings on our layer okay 
perfect so that is for this lecture and in the next lecture we'll be basically adding colors to our drawings to our shapes and then turning them into patterns hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads we post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration motion graphics and video branding and more if you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes a live chat with us shout outs and more consider becoming a patron on patreon you can join for as little as three dollars a month and the link to our patreon page is in the description below and if you want to take your learning to the next level you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of and in the complete course you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons project files and resources class exercises a q a section a certificate of completion and more you can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video Bye for now.